you know, organization. Hold on, guys. Let me catch this one. Oh, doggone, that was a good fish. That was about a two and a half, three pound fish. What I was gonna say is organization is paramount in a bass fisherman's life. We gotta have all of our baits in the right place. Gotta have everything we need in line of sight so we don't have to, have to worry about things. Oh, I got another bite right there. But I found a new little deal that's helped me a bunch this season because electronics, doggone it, they're investments now. And you need to take care of your electronics. I've had multiple different ways of, of putting my electronics on my boat, but now I found something called the sonar bridge. It's always in the same place. It's always accessible. My, my depth finder is, my looking right at the screen itself, and it's not gonna get kicked, it's not gonna get beat up, and it's not in my line of vision when I'm driving the boat. Sonar bridge is a very simple deal. It bridges the cross the foot in front of the foot pedal of your boat. It's out of the way. I know where that depth finder is at all times. So now I'm not kicking it, beating it. It's not falling down when I'm running like it does on certain stands. And it's elevated so that I can see exactly what I need to see on my depth finder. Easy installation, a couple different models for most are adapt to any kind of bass boat that you have. This one here is for the FX Skeeter. I've got another one for the uh, ZX model and those are adaptable for other brands of boats as well. But the sonar bridge has made my life easy, protects my investment and allows me to see my unit at all times. Now here's another modification I like to do to a buzz bait to make it run even slower. Just take and bend that top wire up a little bit. Now you can see that the head of the blade is further in the water, a little bit deeper. It also helps you get a better hook set. Now I can cast it out there. I can fish it super slow. 